now this is a question regarding a treaty which is dealing with the international trading of wildlife so the question is like this with reference to the convention on international trade in endangered species of wild fauna and flora consider the following statements shortly we call it as sites first statement sites is an international agreement between governments the second statement it aims to stop over exploitation of wild fauna and flora through international trade then third statement the agreement also regulates trade in items made from plants and animals then fourth such legal sustainable and traceable wildlife trade then fifth one sites secretariat is administered by united nations nvm program unep so these are the five statement they have given with regards to sites so let us discuss some points regarding sites so from the name itself we can understood that it's a convention for the trading of plants and animals because the name mentioned that fauna and flora fauna means animals flora means plants right so convention on international trade in endangered species of wild fauna and flora that means it's a convention it's a treaty dealing with the trading of international trading of animals and plants okay so sites is an international agreement between governments so it's a treaty between governments that means it's a agreement between governments which aims to ensure that international trade in, in specimens of wild animals and plants does not threaten their survival so in order to ensure the international trading of wildlife is not a threat for their survival this sites this agreement is working okay so this aims to sites aims to stop over exploitation of wild fauna and flora through international trade so in order to reduce the or in order to stop the over exploitation of animals and plants we got this agreement called as sites and this sites secretariat it is headquartered in geneva switzerland okay and that is administered by united nations environment program okay so sites secretariat is located in uh geneva switzerland and it is administered by united nations nvm program shortly we can call it as unep regarding unep you have to study well we know that unep it's an outcome of uh 1972 soko conference right so you have to note down the main points regarding unep okay so the purpose of the sites is to ensure that wild fauna and flora in international trade are not exploited unsustainably okay that's a purpose of sites or that's the aim of sites that means in order to ensure that wild fauna and flora in international trade are not exploited unsustainably okay so this sites is also dealing with the sustainable development so we'll discuss that in next slide so this sites they are regulating international trades of species of plants and animals and not only the plants and animals their products and derivatives also whatever the things which is made from made out of from the animals and plants that will be also regulated by this sites okay so sites regulates international trade of species of plants animals their products and also their derivatives and sites is also ensuring their survival the species of survival in the wild with the benefits for the livelihoods of local people and the global environment that means they are sites is also dealing with the sustainable development so they are ensuring the survival of wildlife within their habitat and also the benefits for the livelihoods of the local people and the global environment so sites is an international convention that combines wildlife and trade themes with the legally binding instrument for achieving conservation and sustainable use objectives so conservation and sustainable use which is combining the wildlife and trade themes and it's a legally binded instrument legally binded treaty now how sites is providing protection for this species how means this sites they are listing out the animals into appendixes okay so the species covered by the sites they are listed in three appendices according to the degree of protection they need okay so they are having appendix 1 2 and 3 so they will be giving or they will be listing that uh, species in appendix 1 2 or 3 so those animals which is in appendix 1 means they have to be give more protection so according to the degree of protection these animals will be listed in the three appendices of sites 
and how these sites are regulating the international trade is they will be giving some certain permits and certificates for the trading of their animals or the plants so the sites they are giving some permits or certificates for the trading of this wildlife in that way sites is regulating the international trade right so sites regulate international trade in wild fauna and flora listed in its appendices on the basis of a system of permits and certificates which are issued when certain conditions are met and which must be presented when a person leaving and entering a country so sites says that wildlife trade should be legal sustainable and traceable so the site seeks to ensure that wildlife trading should be traceable sustainable and legal now one of the main point regarding sites is sites is not having any enforcement authority okay sites is not having its own enforcement authority rather they rely on the policing force of the each nation okay or enforcement authority of the each nation like in india it will be relying on the customs authorities wildlife crime control bureau like that so sites is not having any enforcement authority that means they do not have its own police force okay they depend on the laws and enforcement procedures of each nation now how this sites was formed is the sites was drafted as a result of a resolution adopted in 1963 at a meeting of members of iucn okay iucn we know that international union for conservation of natural and natural resources it's also called as uh, the world conservation union and the text of this convention was finally agreed on this march 3rd of 1973 and on july 1st 1975 the sites was entered into force now another main point regarding sites is even though sites is a legally binding one it does not take place the laws of nation so although sites is legally binding on its on the parties in other words they have to implement the convention the sites does not take place the place of national laws so the the sites it does not take the place of national laws so that's also a main point regarding sites so the sites they will provide a framework to to be respected by each party okay so they will provide a framework to be respected by each party which which has to adopt its own domestic legislation to ensure that sites is implemented at the national level now this sites works by subjecting international trade in specimens of spe- selected species to certain controls that we discussed that means aspects 1 2 and 3 like that and the government of india signed the convention in july 96 which means India is a ratified country to sites. Okay, so these are the main points regarding sites. With reference to sites, consider the following statements. First statement: sites is an international agreement between governments. So that's the first statement, right? So we eliminated B. Then second statement: sites aims to stop overexploitation of wild fauna and flora through international trade. That's also first statement. So we eliminated uh, C. Then third statement. the agreement also regulates trade in items made from plants and animals so that's also correct we said that sites is not only regulate in the animals and plants it is also regulate in the things which is made from the animals or the derivatives right so that's why third is also correct then fourth statement sites encourage legal sustainable and traceable wildlife trade obviously it's also correct correct because it is dealing with the sustainable development right so we got the answer as d 1 2 3 4 and 5 are the correct answer so that means fifth statement is also correct statement site secretariat is administered by united nations nmo program so all the five statements are correct with regards to sites okay so here the answer is d all the statements are correct